Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather to celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany. The revelation of our God to all the people. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth. earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise Thank you, me. we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out to, before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midia, Midian and Ephah all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice, the king's son. He 
shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace to the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay homage to him. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth he shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him he shall have pity for the lowly and the poor the lives of the poor he shall save Lord every nation A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, 
Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at his rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him, assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people. He inquired of them whether Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it had been written through the prophets, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you all shall come a ruler who is a shepherd, the people of Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the child. When you have found, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star they had seen in his rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In her book, even the stars seem lonesome. Maya Angelou wrote about the things that concern her most in this life. It seems we all enjoy reading autobiographies and biographies about people, their dreams, their aspirations, and their hope. We love to read about the life journey of others, of their roads taken and not taken, of the paths they followed the trails they blazed, and the experiences they encountered along the way. Perhaps we read them to learn more about these people, their subject. Perhaps we read them to challenge ourselves to give ourselves courage as we follow their example. We might even compare our journey to theirs. Today we celebrate the story of the epiphany the journey that took place over a different terrain. 
Yet, it was a journey that led to a spiritual realization. That our God dwells among us. The Epiphany story is a story of a journey of three magi from the east. They were courageous travelers guided by a small light in the sky. A light that led to the light of God. A light that led to the light of truth. Their journey is also our journey. Epiphany is a Greek word which means to make manifest. It was to the Gentiles that the three magi made the recognition of God among them. They pointed the way to this child. We Christians, by and large, are Gentiles. We are the direct recipients of the epiphany message. The Magi is an analogy of all of the non-Jews of the world. Just as the shepherds stood for the poor, the marginalized, in the Christmas story. You see, it is the Magi who break the story, the story of salvation to all the Gentiles, to all the world. When we look at the Christmas story, the shepherds were men who received the message directly from a host of angels. They were told exactly where to find the child. Upon their arrival, the angel was there to ensure them this is the right place. This is the drop, the, the child. This is God dwelling among us. They stood, understood exactly who this child was. The Magi, on the other hand, had a different journey. They were given a sign. And they had to use their gifts and talents to seek out that sign. Their journey involved a struggle, questions, and even doubt. The Magi story is our own story, our own journey. We struggle as we seek and search for the light of God. At times, we may not be aware that we are struggling to encounter our God in real concrete ways in our lives. At times, we all have difficulties with our faith, with the larger question of life. We know that there are areas in our life that truly need light. We know that at times in life, we experience darkness, and we don't seem to know how to find the light. We even know that in the midst of our darkness, we can give light to others who are in need a people who have lived in darkness have seen a great light. I'm moving away from the camera, I'm sorry. Have seen a great light.
We are like the Magi in that we are questioned in our lives. There are questions that we encounter frequently about where is God in the midst of all this? There are things in our lives like power, greed, materialism, consumerism, and other forms of violence. We struggle to not return to them when they become too heavy for us. The Magi reached the light, and there in the light, they were renewed and filled with faith. They had the strength, the courage to take a different way home, not to return to the Herods in their lives. We know that once given the gift of faith, once filled with the light, the grace that is dormant within us becomes intensified in a real way. Then and only then can we take a different route. Then and only then we can put away the Herods in our lives. The Magi, in their struggle to find the new king, came with open hearts, hearts that enabled them to know the true light. They also came bearing gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. These gifts are the same as those described in Isaiah and Exodus. The gifts are symbolic in that they represent giving of themselves given so as to truly know the true shepherd, the good shepherd. Giving unites us with God's plan of salvation. If we are to follow the footsteps of this king, Jesus, we are to be cheerful givers. And as such, our lives are not limited to any one group of people or gifts enable us to build up the kingdom of God in our day and in our time. God gives us the greatest gift, salvation, restoration to the family of God. Our pilgrimage continues. This pilgrimage that leads us to faith, hope, and love can be difficult. We have found it most difficult in 2020 when we struggle with a pandemic, uncertainty, turmoil, lost, But our God continues to be a part of our journey. But once we begin, they can be renewing of us. Viaticum is a word which means food for the journey. Viaticum is usually given when someone is in transition between this world and the next when someone has the opportunity to receive the Eucharist before death. In the Eucharist, we are given food for our journey. Every time we receive, it is in the Eucharist that we're able to have the strength needed for the journey. A people have lived in darkness, have seen a great light in the person of Christ Jesus who dwells among us in word, in sacrament, in one another. 
Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith, I believe. with the Father, to him all things be made. The Magi were led by a star to the God made flesh. And when they found him, they offered him their precious gift. We now follow their lead and follow our hearts to offer to our loving God sincere prayers for the needs of the world. That Pope Francis, Stephen, our bishop, and all members of the church throughout the world may be guiding lights for those who still wander in the darkness and doubt of despair. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That all the nations on earth may come to understand those things that make for peace, for justice, for human flourishing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who are undergoing hardships may, with our aid and God's grace, persevere in the faith and testify to the saving action of Christ Lord. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That the spiritual lessons of the Christmas season find a home in our hearts. And may we always seek to better understand the mysteries of our faith as intensely as the major is sought in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That more young people may respond to God's prompting to serve others selflessly in ministry and in religious life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who suffer loneliness and feelings of abandonment may find companionship from those who truly care for them. Lord, in your mercy. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the repose of the soul of Margaret Blake, Joe Puccio, in your mercy we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Faithful God, may your light 
illuminate for us the way you wish us to go. Without you, we'll be truly lost. Confident in your continual love, we ask you to hear our prayers this day in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And we, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us now by the glory of the immortal nature. And so with angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious thought in we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he's betrayed and into willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, all the clergy, and the people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace to the grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Shall we see him? Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive whatever sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.